In Saudi Arabia, the family of a jailed women's rights activist says she's rejected a proposal to secure her release. They say Lujain al Hathloul was offered her freedom if she declared that she wasn't tortured in custody. She was arrested last year along with other women's rights activists. Rights groups say she is one of several who've been abused whilst held in solitary confinement for months. Well, the international human rights lawyer Toby Cadman says despite the reforms, Saudi women are still being treated like second-class citizens. I think one of, the, one of the things that we're also seeing now is more and more women fleeing Saudi Arabia because of the draconian guardianship laws and various others. Uh, our, our group represents a number of Saudi women who have sought to, to flee from Saudi Arabia. And you ask these, these women, has the situation changed since this, this great announcement of reform with women being able to drive and even um, being allowed to go to the cinema? Those changes have had no significant impact. And even what we're seeing now is that the guardianship laws are, are supposed to be uh, relaxed or removed within three months. Is that going to have any impact on women's lives in Saudi Arabia generally? No. Um, most women consider it will not because of the, the cultural problems that are faced with women um, and even uh, men who are trying to exercise fundamental rights, rights that we take for granted in a society which is a brutal dictatorship.